Hey guys, quick update. Just uh, finished the ceiling in my camper today. Got it all painted. Uh, put two coats of a semi-gloss on it, I guess is what I put on it. Uh, it's just white, but I was gonna cover the seams, but uh, with some trim, but I think I'm just gonna leave them. Um, anyway, but so this is uh, this is my camper. I think I'm just about done. I've got uh, the walls and the ceiling are insulated with one inch foam board insulation. I've got the uh, bunk beds. I got a full size six inch memory foam mattress. Uh, these mattresses are cool. I'm going to show you one up top because they they fold. See how they fold up? They, they're tri-fold so you can fold them up and put them away and then everything comes apart. But uh, and then I they have they come with canvas uh, zippered canvas um, really good quality canvas carrying bags with handles, which is nice. So anyways, so back to the camper. So what I did is I, I got one inch styrofoam, uh, foam board insulation in the walls and in the ceiling. I did not do the floor, um, insulation. I just went over it with, a uh, sheet vinyl, uh, wood grain look floor. Uh, I carpeted the walls, as you can see, two tones. So I got gray on the bottom, brown on the top. And I know I've gone over this already in some of my other videos, but here's the E-tracks, there's the brackets, the 2x4s. I carpeted the 2x4s just to give it a more finished look. But uh, And then I also carpeted the plywood um, platform, so just to give it a more finished look. Um, I've got my TV mounted on the wall. It's on a swivel, so you can pull this little string, face it to the bed at night. Uh, I got all my my lights hooked up. That one right there is the one that turns on when it's um, when the trailer is hooked up to the to the truck. So that's wired differently. But um, got another light up here. I, I was having a hard time getting this um, getting the Vino's plywood cut properly. So I ended up just carpeting it because it was uh, the ceiling portion of it because it was easier. And then I just trimmed it out with some aluminum to finish finish it but anyways um checkerboard vinyl on the countertops got my uh switch panel housing so uh you get these on amazon they're like 30 bucks pretty neat um it's got a oops hold on turn the light off uh it's got a cigarette 12 volt cigarette lighter thing and this one's got your usbs uh got the main lights this one right here is for under the cabinet this is over the cabinet this one is for the fan, and this one is for the outside uh, porch light. Uh, let me turn the end of the cabinet light on. Here's my setup under here. Uh, if you look at this little brass looking thing that's on the battery terminal, that's a battery disconnect. So if I lift that arm, it basically disconnects the battery from all of the electricity, which is kind of neat. Uh, this right here, I don't know how accurate this is. It's just a battery monitor gauge thing tells you what your percentage is. I think it's, I don't think it's accurate. Uh, I'm hesitant to say it's accurate. What's this say? This says 12.4 volts, but it says the battery's only 79% charged, but it's on a battery maintainer. And if I go down here to the diehard, see that says fully charged. So I don't know how accurate that is. Um, I know that the percentage goes up when you start turning things off like lights and stuff. Uh, but anyways, there's my um, pure sine inverter, 1200 watt with a 2400 watt surge. Uh, everything's run through bus bars and uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. A little light under here, that's for that's for shower water. And then this is a, this little sprayer thing here is a bug sprayer, but I, I cut the wand off and I attached like a little sink hose and I fill it up with uh, water with warm water and I use that to shower when we're camping which is kind of neat um, anyways this here this is a screen door that rolls down it has a zipper in the middle also has one in the back um, I have them rolled up right now keeping them out of the way but you know they it basically screens off the the opening so you can leave the doors open and uh, anyways it's a basic camper but it's better than tent camping which my daughter and I have been doing for years and uh, the last time we tent camped, um, we got caught in torrential downpours. My buddy had, that was with us had a pop-up camper and we spent a lot of time in that, but I would have been nice to have a real camper instead of just a little four-man tent. But 
anyways now we have this cargo trailer the only thing i might still do and i haven't decided is i might put a window on the door um i initially was holding i i did decided not to i didn't want to cut a hole in the walls i guess is the main reason but um i also use this for a cargo trailer i play in a in a band a music band and i uh i haul gear uh occasionally i'm taking a break right now because we had a baby recently but um i use it typically to tour with a band um fairly often and i didn't want windows where you could see what was inside it so i'm still undecided about putting a window in there um so i'm getting a little older my touring days may be over so <laughs> uh so maybe i'll put a window in who knows um anyways that's all i uh, hope you enjoy and i hope you're all being safe with this virus going around and i hope you all have a great easter uh, which is tomorrow so thanks for watching bye bye